Alright guys, how you doing today? This is Andy Omar and today I'm going to talk about why do foreigners always complain about the Philippines? Kind of like the Philippines Truth Channel. You know, he's, a, he's never going to show himself because he's easy, he could easily get deported for saying those things. He embellishes the negativities in the Philippines. You know, that guy, the Philippines Truth Channel, he's a bum. He sees all the negative things because he lives in a poor area. He's probably at low social security under 2,000 pesos. So that's why. That's why people believe these bums. These are bums. How about you come to the Philippines with over $4,000, $5,000 and live a different life. Don't live the life of these bums. Live a life of luxury, style, five class lifestyle. Go to Boracay, go to the go to Manila, go to BGC, you know. Go to Angeles City where they got ABC Hotel. Go to all these other places where they're going to treat you nice, where they got nothing, you know, they got stock for everything, whatever. Because, you know, th these idiots, uh, especially in the restaurants, they don't know how to cook. They don't know how much is a pizza. They don't know how much are the ingredients. They expect to get like a Italian pizza for 100 pesos and shit. Like, really? You know how much it takes to import the you know the, the flour and stuff import the tomatoes and stuff import the sauces the spices it takes a lot um especially to get a facility with the right temperature it takes a lot so these people they complain because they don't know they complain about how shitty the furniture is. Of course, you're buying 3,000 peso furniture. That's just gonna break regardless. Damn. There's a lot of broke motherfuckers out here, man. Like seriously. That's, that's one thing I, I don't get. These broke people are always complaining about the Philippines. The more broke they are, the more prominent the rants are for me. I rant about these fucking bums. It's fucking giving the Philippines a bad freaking name, seriously. And I fucking hate it because the Philippines is filled with money and luxury. The Philippines, I say it again, is filled with money and luxury. In my neighborhood, I got the crappiest car. Okay? In my neighborhood, I got one of the smaller houses. Let me give you a perspective on that, man. Imagine, and I'm the foreigner, right? And I'm still living great. And I'm still living good in the Philippines, man. And there's times I would spend over $5,000, $6,000 a month. Let me give you that perspective. But these people, under 2,000 pesos, they complain like little bitches. You know, going out there to the mercados and buying... You know, they complain about the smell at the Mercado. They complain about the worms and the vegetables. Well, no shit, Sherlock. That's why you're going to the cheapest of the cheapest place. And those carrots are not going to taste like carrots. And those tomatoes are not going to... Those potatoes are not going to taste like potatoes. You get it. You know, those, those that garlic is not going to be potent enough. Yeah, it might be cheap. But you're not going to have fun eating that. Not going to have fun. But when you go to Landers, SNR, not SM, SM is shit. But when you go to Landers or SNR, they have top quality vegetables, man. Top of the top. They got Brazilian beef, Australian beef, American beef. No, these fucking cheap ass foreigners complain there's no good beef in the Philippines. Why? Because they go for the Carabao at SM. They go for the Carabao in the freaking side of the street. They complain about it. They complain about the beef. These broke asses. You know beef costs money? Like, I don't know, like, it, it's a lot of these guys who are spoiled and who never went to a market in the US. And they think that once they get to the Philippines from their country that their money is gonna double or triple for some odd reason. No, let me give you a fast reality check. 
the money, no matter where you move, it's gonna be the same everywhere you go. The cost of everything is gonna be the same no matter where, no matter where you go. The only thing that changes is the conversion and the exchange of the money. That is it. Don't be stupid, don't fall for it. The only reason why things appear to be cheap is because they are of lower quality. Oh man. You know, like, that's... I, I don't get these people, man. Like, oh, there's no sidewalks and all that kind of stuff. Like the Philippines Troops Channel. Well, of course there's no sidewalks. You're walking in the shitty part of the of town. Get a fucking car. Get a fucking motorcycle. Go, right? Or move to a better fucking neighborhood, right? Why complain? Let them... Okay, this is for me. Like, let them live... If these people are happy with or where they are let them live their life in the Philippines um, these people cannot afford to go up in the, in the higher ranking of the social status they cannot the social economic status they cannot and they have to do you know they have to make do with and make it the best of whatever they got sadly enough and you're insulting and then these foreigners are coming insulting their home of course they're gonna be pissed I am pissed too man because I consider Philippines my home and I would be pissed if they talk shit about it because look there are there is so much beauty here there's so many beautiful beaches so many luxury there is so much luxury here but these bums are not gonna reach for it there are so many quality women that are beautiful. Nah, but these guys go for the freaking province skank. They go for the undesirable women. The single moms. There's nothing wrong with a single mom. I've dated a few. They're great. But still, these guys will go for the ones that have like five babies and they all look used up like crazy. You get it, right? Like, these guys complain about the quality of women, that they're scammers and liars. Of course, you're online. You're in an online website. Of course, there's going to be all these type of cheap-ass scammers happening. Of course. Oh, man. But, you know, these guys are not confident enough to find a beautiful woman. A woman with higher class. They don't have patience. They can never say no. These people are only reaching for the bottom, the low bearing fruits. They're not going higher up their socioeconomic scale. They're just, they just come here to downgrade. A lot of these foreigners come here to downgrade. That's the one thing. I came to the Philippines to upgrade because I wanted to make the best of what I am here. I came here to upgrade. These guys, they live in the prov they put themselves through hell. Literally through hell. They would live in the butthole middle of nowhere where there is no med no medical, no nothing. And then they wonder why they die so fast. They never get any checkups. They don't have any insurance. They're on GoFundMe pages. I don't get these people, man. He's broke asses. That's the thing. Like, if you got a complaint, okay. Let me say, let's say this. You're well off with money. And you go to these places that are middle class or higher end. And you got a legitimate complaint. Take it up to the manager. Complain. And they will entertain you. They will care for you. And they will fix their mistake. Because those higher end places will fix their mistakes. They will. And I had that a couple of times. They will. But not the ch not the cheap poor places. They're going to say, hey, whatever. Whatever, bro. Like, you know, if you don't like it, take it. You know, those people are not there to please. They're just out there just to sell some, you know, some food. Fast food. The ones in the lower end. Yeah, but anyway, 
there are so many things that I could say in this video and yeah I hope everybody is great today I hope everybody's having a good evening but if you're in a higher end look if you have money just live the same life you're living in the States or wherever because it's gonna be cheaper and it's gonna be better let's say that if you spend the same money that you spend in the US or from your country you are gonna have a better lifestyle the thing is that these guys they come in with less money than what they were making in the States they come on retirement on Social Security so of course they're coming into the country with less so they come to downgrade remember guys come to upgrade not downgrade you won't at the end of the day you're not gonna have these complaints anymore really um, you're not gonna find the roosters anymore because I haven't you know I live here for so long the only time I, I heard a rooster was in Baguio because I was at a freaking cheap hotel and that was last month but before that I haven't it was probably like four years I have not heard a rooster imagine that four years in the Philippines and I have not heard a rooster so yeah there is these things man there is luxury in the Philippines there is money in the Philippines Filipinos socioeconomic status is going way up their fashion is going way up social media is going way up and I I like it it's great more power to them it feels more second world nowadays than ever hard-working people of course oh no you're gonna have these people that complain about the lazy people in the Philippines as well right because this is the only way to fix it you pay your employees more because if you pay peanuts you're gonna get the monkeys right so yeah easy easy fix there are so many easy fixes you could do there are so many professionals out here who do great job at everything at everything literally and I use these people they work great especially for my business I would hire them they are excellent employees excellent and I don't know why there's many foreigners out here who complain about their maids complain about their employees complain about people you know like that like why would they as I said before you pay peanuts you get the monkeys just try paying higher to somebody of more higher value and you will see the results honestly you will see the results anyways that's my long rant against these cheap ass foreigners the true Philippine channel you know like all these bums they're basically bums that complain about the Philippines like if you have if you have so many complaints then get the fuck out easy right there's Thailand there's Vietnam there's not Cambodia but yeah there's Thailand and Vietnam they're cheaper cheaper countries to stay at they speak English as well and well minimum but they speak it it's livable better infrastructure better food so why not now nah, they decide just to stay here in the Philippines because they can't do shit they cannot afford a plane ticket anymore they cannot move anymore they don't have any more money that's why so yeah that's why these bums are just gonna stick it out here and just be complaining and then there's all these other guys who complain about the Philippines who never even came they never came they don't even have passports anyway again this is Andy Omar signing out peace